Really? You did not. Oh, oh, gotta go, gotta go. Hey guys, Bob from Better Music. Um, back here with the, uh, the Floyd Rose Whisperer. Um, I'm basically gonna show you how to do a quick restring and set up on a Floyd Rose. Operative word being the quick. Now, it is a very, very time consuming, very labor intensive process to, to restring and set up a Floyd Rose. Um, I'm gonna show you a few tips to, to sort of get through it a little bit quicker. Okay guys, so when you're setting up, you're gonna need some tools. Um, first things first, a, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver. String winder is pretty, pretty handy. Um, a tuner, a good tuner that, um, that shows uh, the sense, like it'll measure in sense, a good chromatic tuner. Um, a short lead, some valve oil, um, some trumpet or um, brass valve oil, fingerboard conditioner, a shifting spanner, just in case, um, a strap to use as a chock against the bridge, and a set of Allen keys. So you'll probably need, depending on the guitar, you'll need metric Allen keys. So uh, a two and a half mil, a three mil, a four mil, and or a five mil. And depending on what guitar you've got, your truss rod tools. So some of them are a little different, like you get Gibson ones that, that um, are like a socket. They're a particular size, they're an imperial measurement. Or you get the Ibanez one, which is the same sort of thing, but a, a metric measurement, that kind of thing there. So make sure you've got all of these ready to go, really, really close by. The other thing you need is just some, some wire cutters to be able to cut the strings off. Other than that, man, you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do, just cut the, the end off this. As I said, it's ideal to get everything ready. Now this is just something that I do. Not everybody does this when they set it up, but I like to chock the, the trem up to its normal position with the strap there. It's just easier for me. Um, I put all the weight from the trem on my left hand like this, and that way it gives you your left hand to hold the string in and your right hand is free to be able to do this. So with anything guitar wise, you don't want to over tighten anything. If you over tighten, you can actually thread it because it's, uh, it's pretty soft steel in the grand scheme of things. So, All right, so that's, that's in there nice and tight. You've got to keep it nice and straight as well. You, if it's, especially with the higher strings, it's easy to have them a little bit offset. You want them nice and straight there. Now the stringing up thing, you know, thumb on the nut, bring it up, kink it. and wind it on. And repeat six times. <laughs> now I'm gonna go through the most tedious part of the Floyd Rose setup and that is getting the guitar in tune. So um, tuning one string will directly affect all of the other strings. So something that, I've kind, that, that I kind of do is I've noticed whenever I do it that the, uh, the lowest string is the one that, that um, that uh, changes the most. So what I generally do, it, it, um, it'll go down. So if you set it in E, for example, and by the time you get back to it, when you start from the top and work your way back down, it'll be down to like a D or a C sharp. So generally what I'll do is I'll tune it up a, a step higher than it needs to be. So this guitar is going into E flat. So we'll set this one in F, and then we'll start from the, bottom, from the top and work our way up. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll go over and I'll show you just how much it, it moves because it's, it's, it's surprising how much it actually moves. So I'll do the, the top three strings. Yeah, we're up till 5.30 And you can see just by, I always start again as well. So if I do a string, I'll go back and, and try the other one. So if I do that one, to do the, the high string, the first string, I'll do the second and then I'll go back and check the first again. It's like, it's, as I said, this is the most annoying part of it because it takes time to, to do it. So I've done the top three, they're in tune now. And look at this. So this was an F, remember? It's now down to an E. So, and it's on its way down even more. So we bring it back up to an F and, and start the process again. So first, second, third, first, second, third. Get them nice and stable. And then we'll go to the fourth. So that's an A, we need that one to be a C sharp. So we get that to C sharp. And we come back up again, first, second, 
third. So I remember we um, we had that that six string tune to an F. That's a look how far it's gone down again. So that was an F. So that just gives you an example of how much they actually move around. So we'll go back, get all of these four strings in tune, and we'll bring that back to an F again. It should be hopefully one of the last times we have to do it. And it's just about going over your work. So you just keep repeating the process. What ha what's happening this whole time is we're, we're starting to put the correct tension on the springs in the back that are, that are balancing the tremolo. So, as you can see, this is the most time consuming part of it. It's especially difficult when you have to change string gauges or tunings. So it looks like this guitar was actually set up with these strings that the customers asked for in this tuning. So it's going very, very close to where it needs to be. It's gonna need minimal adjustment, I reckon. So, hopefully this low string is down where we need it to be. Oh, look at that, we're a little bit flat of where we need to be. That's good. So, tune it sharp again. All right, so that's the guitar in tune. If you have a look at the tremolo, now we need this to sit level, it needs to be sitting about there. So the guitar is sitting in tune, everything's right. So what we do now is that's what these springs in the back are for. You've got these, these um, adjustment springs here. So if the tremolo is sitting, sitting down like this, it means that you need to relieve it so the spring tension is less. If it's sitting up like it is now or if it's more drastic like that, you generally tighten the springs and it'll bring it down to where it needs to be. It's about balancing it. So this is the, the most, uh, like the most time consuming part of it is getting that balance right. Fortunately, this guitar doesn't need too much. So I'll be back soon. sort of come off, um, will actually magnetise to the pickup, you'll be able to peel them off from the tape here, you'll see towards the end as well. So I'll keep going. Oh yeah, I know that bloke. Alright. So that's, that's uh, pretty much all the frets done. I'll just